got a nice sunny day, almost spring. It's February 27th. I'm out here on the on the uh, hunting property, just my small 12 acre parcel, and we're doing some habitat management. In order to maintain the thick cover that I have behind me every year for probably over 13, 14 years now, I've been thinning trees out of here. And what this used to be, it used to be farmed with uh, corn, soybean, rye. It was farmed years ago up into the 80s. And then we decided to let it grow for various reasons. Um, and it's grown into early successional type growth where we have bushes, shrubs, briars, you know, blackberries, raspberries, and we have a lot of uh, black cherry, we have walnut, we've got maple, oh, an assortment of different trees. And what I do is, on a yearly basis, I come in and I harvest trees. I take out trees that are probably anywhere from 8 to 10 inches. I usually don't let them get bigger than that. And if you can see, and down here, you can see this is one that I cut this, this tree probably eight, nine inches in diameter. And uh, it's actually a walnut tree, and I wanted to get this out of the way because what it does is, when you get too big, it blocks out the sun, and I don't get a lot of herbaceous growth here anymore. And you can see the shrubs that are growing up. Uh, uh, a lot of different uh, shrubs and different species in here that the deer browse on while they're bedding. And if you go inside the cover, you'll see bed marks, you'll see, you'll see rubs. There's a lot of deer moving in, in, uh, in and out of here. So it holds for, it doesn't hold, but the deer come in here often and move about. The 12 acres with neighboring properties, you get a movement of deer constantly, and you can have some success on here. I've got cameras all throughout, and every year using the camera information, the pictures I get, I can assess you know, what's moving through here. We had a nice, real nice 10 point coming through, uh, several eight points, and another smaller 10 point. But what we're doing today is we're removing trees, and that's probably the habitat tip that I want to focus on the most. Rather than uh, girdle trees and uh, remove parts of them or whatever the case may be, there's a lot of methods out there. But I just remove the whole tree. It just opens up a big spot and trees will grow back out from the stump. It'll create browse and uh, other plants will grow in and around it and the deer will eat that off. But the key to holding deer after summer into the fall is to have woody browse. If you look closely here, you can see the shoots coming out on this, okay? And, and the deer will eat this as soon as the shoots start coming out. And then uh, they'll, they'll nibble on this all, all winter long. And you can actually see the top of that nibbled off. And all these uh, woody plants that are in here, they're, they're just shrubs. Uh, a variety of different shrubs that are in here. And the deer will browse on them all, all uh, winter long. And when I, some on, sometimes on the edges, you can see over here, on the edges, I hinge tight, and you can see the shoots that come off of this, and the deer can still reach this, and they'll browse this off. There's a, there's a spot that was browsed off, there's a spot that was browsed off, they'll just and pick, and there's another spot that's browsed off, they'll just come through here and pick at it, and move all along, and I've got trails through here, like a maze, and they'll bed, and they'll, and the, you know, the little pockets and different things. But it makes for good growth, and that's how you hold deer after the leaves are off the trees. Because once the leaves are off, they have to either, you know, feed in, in green, maybe a rye field that still exists in the winter time, or they'll be browsing on all these woody plants. But my favorite thing to do is, in order to create browse, is to just remove trees, uh, especially on a small property like this. I have to maintain this cover. When when you have a lot of fields, if you show the fields that are out there, it's all farmland around me and there's patches of wood. And uh, if you just have a lot of fields and you have small patches, you gotta have a lot of thick cover. And I try to maintain this cover all the time. If I don't get after it every year and remove this wood, remove these bigger trees, it's gonna shade out the, the understory and you're not gonna have you're not gonna have the growth that you need on a low level for the deer to do well. Uh, so that's the habitat tip. Uh, for today. We'll get at this all spring and I'll be coming back with a lot of stuff in spring fall with this year. We're going to do a little series on scouting. We're going to start scouting here pretty soon for spring gobblers in a week or two. They'll start gobbling and breaking up from winter mode and the gobblers will start mixing with the hens and the flocks will break up eventually into April and May and uh, it'll, it'll be great.
Alright guys, that's it for the day.